Comedy Show. Like literally, like that was really fucking weird for me. Um, so we got, yeah, we have Eliza coming in. We have like, I think five or six other comics. You guys are in for a great show. Um, this first guy coming to stage, he's very funny. Um, he performs all over town. Put your hands together for Steven Holloman. <laughs> But I would get some free drinks at a gay bar. <laughs> so anyways. I want to be the first guy to go up to a cantaloupe and say, yes you can. <laughs> we're gonna set that bar and we're gonna go higher. <laughs> As a little kid, I had a friend named Jackie, and she was a thief. So me and all my friends gave her the nickname. We called her Jackie. She would come around, and we'd be like, hide your stuff. Jackie's coming. And I think it ran in her family because her mom's name was Robin. And she worked at the steel factory. Rule of three. Throw that joke away. When I was in seventh grade, you guys, I remember I got suspended from school for bringing a Playboy. I found a Playboy, I brought it to school. I, I was one of the coolest kids that day. In the guy's department. Anyway, it's like, so, so the principal ends up having to call my dad and tell him, hey, we caught your child with a Playboy, we're gonna suspend him. My dad responds, oh, thank God it wasn't a Playgirl, have a great day. It's like, that's a great start. He ends up coming and picking me up, and the principal starts laying into him about how bad of a parent he must be to have a, a magazine like that laying around for me to grab. And my dad's like, whoa, okay, he didn't get it from me, let's ask him. And I'm like, yeah, no, I, I actually found this. And they didn't believe me, and I was like, no, seriously, I found this, and in my mind, it, it was find it, keep it. That's just what happened, okay? So they're like, whatever. Um, that, and long story short, the principal's like, you know, you should, you should definitely punish him. My dad's like, sure, we'll figure it out when we get home. We get in the car, he high fives me. Yeah. Okay, the crazy thing about that whole story is the principal kept the Playboy. Which makes me think my theory is true. You find shit like that, you keep it. What's wrong with that? Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys about that. Um, I've been working on some weird jokes, and uh, this one is an impression, you guys. This is an impression of a ventriloquist who loses his voice. with you guys. We're having fun. This is going to sound a little racist, and I'm sorry. Um, you guys are on board. I was at a bar the other night, and I sat next to this white supremacist, right, on accident. Anyways, I started watching everything he'd drink, and this guy could not black out. <laughs> And he paid with his MasterCard. Yes. And he looked like this. I'm gonna take that sock off now. Silliness. Where were you for that joke? Um, I do want to say, as a heads up, you guys, moving forward, uh, my jokes do get a little edgy. <laughs> It's kind of subtle, right? Not bad, not bad. Oh, hey there, how are you? How are you? Um, 
You guys, I have this idea for a dating website, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I wanna call it veganmeat.com. <laughs> Subtle, but we're there, we're there. Um, the other night I opened up a set by doing a 9-11 joke, you guys, and I learned something the other night. You do not open up a set doing a 9-11 joke. The rest of your set just kind of crashes and burns and falls apart. <laughs> So I want to close with a 9-11 joke, that's what I'm thinking. No. <laughs> Dude, the worst part is once you hear it, you're probably like, wow, that was good. Maybe not though, I don't know. I feel like right then and there, I just doubted myself. No, this is how it goes, I want to share with you guys, because I'm proud of this show. You get back here, I feel like I'm really up in your boobs. <laughs> Out of respect. Out of respect. So anyways, I wrote this joke, I titled this joke 9-11, you guys, because at first I had nine puns. And then I was like, I could add 11 more, right? And I probably won't forget them. So this is, this is how it goes. There's this awesome Middle Eastern bar, and it's been around for as long as anyone can remember. And it's really nice. And when I go there, I bring my buddy Jordan, we bring our buddy Chad, we drink a bunch of turkey, we smoke a whole pack of camels, and when we get hungry, we eat hummus. I know the bartender, Saddam, his favorite customer because I rack up such a big tab. <laughs> At last call, right? It's getting late. I'll get kind of drunk, so I'll kind of slur a little bit. <laughs> I remember this one time, I ran up to the bar, right? I go up and I go, hey buddy. Quick. I'll, uh, I'll have whatever jihad right there. And can you hurry my ISIS smelty? And before I close out, I'd like to buy a car bar. <laughs> Can you make it fast? I have 72 virgins I'm dying to see. <laughs> oh! I was gonna say you guys were gonna laugh at some point, but I guess it was nice funny. <laughs> yep, so I think I learned you don't open with a 9-11, you don't close with a 9-11. How <laughs> much time do I got? <laughs> Enough time to say thank you guys, it's been awesome. Stephen Holloman. You can check out the rest of his stuff at terroristpuns.com. And if you want his autograph after the show, he'll be getting his ass kicked in the parking lot right out here. Who's ready for the next comic, you guys? All right.